Hi everyone, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Okay, the holidays are over and we are right in the middle of winter. So I decided I need to get out of here this weekend. So we were looking for somewhere that was kid friendly because we have three kids under six and under that are, you know, going with us. Um, so what we've decided to do is we decided to head to the Wisconsin Dells and um, go to the Kalahari Resort. This is one of those indoor outdoor water park resorts. And since it's January, we're more interested in the indoor water park portion this time. Um, but the reason we chose this one is because Kalahari just finished a multi-million dollar renovation project that in, they've added three new thrill water slides, which isn't gonna, you know, really thrill my kids too much, but my husband, I have a sneaky suspicion he might be into those. But what we're going to see is that there's a new children's um, water play area. It's called Tico's Watering Hole. And it's great because it is aimed at kids five and under. So perfect for my kids. It has like 10 kids water slides, water guns. It's African themed. So there'll be lots of, you know, animals to play on. Um, so we've never been to Kalahari before. So we are going to go check it out. And we're bringing you with us to kind of see how kid friendly it is and to kind of show you everything it has to offer. So we made it. Welcome to Kalahari. This is where I just checked in. Let me tell you, the check-in was so easy. I walked right up and two minutes later I had my key and I was up to my room. So here's a tip of advice. If you have a lot of kids, I have three with me, check out their suites because it has a separate room for the TV, the couch, and the chair separate from the bedroom. So while the kids are sleeping early, I can still be watching TV and enjoying myself. So let's take a look at the room. So this is the outside of Kalahari. As you can see, that is the main entrance right there. There's even a convention center attached to it. There's an indoor water park, an outdoor water park. There's even an indoor theme park. So this is one of my top picks for Wisconsin Dells Resort. It just has so much to offer for families, um, people, couples, anybody. You know, there's just tons of stuff to do. Kalahari is an African theme resort. It is really fun. And let me just tell you, the staff is amazing. Since we've been here, everybody is friendly. From the guy that brings your luggage up to the people that check you in, I really, really like the hospitality that they have here. A great feature of the resort is it has a lot of these coves with these great big sofas and fireplaces. It's really cozy. It's a place to have a snack, you know, stop with the kids, um, or just to warm up if it's cold outside. If you're looking for a snack, this is a really great place. It's called the Sweet Hut. It, they make their own ice cream. It's delicious, and it's just right here in the lobby, so it's easy to access. This is pottery pizzazz, and this is you get the pottery, the little um, statues, and you can paint them, so it's a really great activity to do with the kids. If you're looking for something hot or even cold to drink, this is Java Manjaro. Now, this is a bakery. It has coffee, all kinds of fun stuff, but you have to check out these cookies. They have crumbled like candy bars on top of it. I'm telling you, to die for. One of the highlights for my kids at the Kalahari Resort, besides the water parks, of course, is the arcade. My kids love games, and so they have a nice arcade back here that has all types of games, from skee-ball to the claw games. So if you're coming to Kalahari in the summer, they have a huge outdoor water park. It looks really fun. It's January right now, so we don't get to try that out. But we'll be sure to come back in the summer to show you everything it has to offer outside. Now, inside there, that's the indoor water park. Because it's an indoor water park, I'm not going to do a lot of talking in there because it's quite loud. But here's my tip. If you are, you know, you want to sit on the sidelines to see you're a grandparent or a parent, Make sure you dress lightly because it is warm in there if you are not in the water. And my suggestion is to sit on the perimeter of the water park because the closer to the doors you are, the cooler you're going to be. The closer to the inside, you might get a little bit warm. Now we are inside the water park. As you can see, it's kind of busy. It's a Saturday afternoon, so there are a lot of people. But the, some of the new water slides are absolutely fabulous. Now the new park for toddlers is called Tico's Watering Hole. Now it is 
absolutely great. It's in the corner, so it's out of the way of everything else. There are a lot of things for moms and babies and toddlers to do. They love the slides. There's actually 10 slides. There's even a little lazy river for just the toddlers, and it's totally out of the way of all the big kids and all the adults. It's really fun. So you have Tico's watering hole for the toddlers and the moms and babies. Now, for the kids from, I would say, about five to nine years old, in the center of the water park, it's called Leopard's Lair, and it's a huge water play structure um, with rope cl climbs. You even have lots of water slides and pretty big water slides that the kids absolutely adore. Um, and what they like about this one is the outdoor water park has a big, you know, one of those big buckets that dump waters all over the whole thing. Not this one, this indoor one, it does have spraying water, it has rain, but there's no big scary bucket of water that's being dropped. So my little ones appreciated that. Also in the water park, there is a la there's a lazy river that you can just, you know, hop on a raft and ride around. There's also a wave pool. Now, it's not the biggest wave pool of a water park I've ever seen, but you know what? It does the job. It gives you waves indoors, and that's pretty fun. Now, if you have teenagers, there is the um, flow rider, and this they can either boogie board or they can learn to surf, or if they know how to surf, they can surf. And what I like about the indoor water park at Kalahari is that it's all in one big giant building. You don't have to go to one building for the wave pool and another building for the toddler park. It's all right there. So for your family, if you have the teenagers, they have their thing. They have the place for the toddlers and the middle school children. I'm telling you, all one building is brilliant. Now Kalahari has an indoor theme park as well. Now what this is, is it has a giant indoor Ferris wheel. It has a ton of arcade games. It also has a race car track that's elevated above everything else, so you can race race cars. They have a rope um, course. They have a putt-putt, which is great for the little kids. They have bowling, and they have a bar. They've got pool tables. They've got some little mini rides, such as a mini carousel for the kids, and they even have a food court in this theme park. It can kind of get expensive, it all adds up, but the theme park is a really great option um, if you want to take advantage of that. So we had a great weekend at Kalahari, and now the weekend's done, so we are headed home and we're excited about our next adventure. Did we have fun, guys? Yeah! See you next time. What's that? A couple other things that I didn't include in our little video at the resort is that there is a movie theater that is attached to the resort as well. So I'm telling you, you don't even need to leave the property for any reason. You have your restaurants, you have a movie theater, a bowling alley, the water parks, everything is right there. There's lots to eat, there is a ton to do. We had a fabulous time at Kalahari. I can't even think of anything bad I would say about it. I'm telling you, the staff was overly friendly. Everybody, everybody I encountered was so, so nice and helpful. So there you go. That is our look at the Kalahari Resorts in Wisconsin Dells. And I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com.